program. Sean Miller will make history by being the first person to run the 2014 Perth City to Surf Marathon blindfolded. The event takes place on the 31st of August and Sean is undertaking the Mammoth Challenge to raise $30,000 to sponsor a guide dog from Guide Dogs WA. I'm delighted to now say that Sean, Sean joins us on the line. Good morning, Sean. Hi there, Dan. Wonderful to have you on board. Tell us how and when this idea eventuated. Oh, yeah, well, look, it's something really that only happened in the last sort of few months. I, I had the idea. Um, and the idea came about because purely my brother that lives in the UK is registered blind, uh, and he's been waiting quite some time for a guide dog. Um, and I can't do anything to help him particularly, so I wanted to do something here in Perth where I live and have done for the last 10 years. I wanted to try and buy and sponsor a guide dog for Guide Dog WA and help someone in his position here. And Sean, your brother's been suffering from the condition for approximately 10 years, is that that's, correct? That's right, yeah, he was diagnosed about 10 years ago and over those years his eyes have um, diminished to the point where he's only got sort of 3 or 4% vision now. And um, yeah, so another year or so he, he will be totally blind. OK, definitely a sad story. Now, Sean, the fundraising efforts at your uh, gathering by the City to Surf, they're not going to benefit your brother directly, but you're looking to raise the money to buy a guide dog to give a sight-impaired person in WA the independence that you hope that one day your brother will have. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. That's my sort of inspiration. We've got to get to 30,000. It is a bit of a mammoth task, but, um, but just with friends and family and people knowing what we were doing, I... I had no choice. I set up a, a, an Everyday Heroes page and uh, friends um, started putting some donations in there and it built up momentum and uh, we made a video and um, just a short video that we put onto a website that we then set up and uh, people have just shared that video and told other people around, about it around the, the country and then around the world and uh, yeah, in the last couple of months we've gone up, we're just under $10,000 now with generous people sharing the link and telling them about what we're doing. Yeah, it's a wonderful start to the fundraising event. So at the moment, just shy of $10,000, so I need just over $20,000. Yeah. Have you been shocked in many ways by how many people are getting behind it? Uh, I've, I've been absolutely blown away. I mean, I knew it was a mammoth task anyway, because to be honest, I thought a guide dog would cost two or $3,000. And as a sort of small business owner, I wanted to just buy them one. And then when I found out it was 30, the, um, no, the target was set, so I had to get there somehow. And I emphasise that to everybody. And... Um, yeah, I've been blown away. My friends and family have... Um, I, I just realise I've got such fantastic people around me. Yeah, definitely a fantastic effort. Great to see the people getting behind what's a wonderful cause. Now, Sean, tell us about your running background. Yeah, well, look, I'm not an elite runner or anything like that. I purely like running. Um, it's a hobby. I have run uh, four or five marathons before. Oh, this would be my fifth one. Um, obviously, I've never done one blindfolded. Um, so normally I'm running, I, I can normally do a marathon in somewhere between sort of three and a half uh, and three hours, 45 minutes. Um, but this marathon will take me about five hours, so I'll be totally in the darkness for five hours. But I, yeah, but training for it has been the, the most interesting thing because normally I just hit the streets and put the Ks in. But this time I've had to do it all a bit different uh, with a blindfold on, with someone guiding me all the way uh, and on the treadmill uh, for hours, no, with a blindfold on. Well, tell us about that training, Sean, because I saw the video. It's a fascinating watch at the moment, and you said that when you're on the treadmill, you still think that you're going to run into a lamppost. So how are you finding it so far? Yeah, oh, well, it's very interesting. I, I do get, sometimes I get a little bit disorientated, and, uh, um, I, yeah, I go to the gym. I set myself up. A lot of people look at me, but the good thing is I can't see them, so I don't mind. Um, I also do wear earphones, so I sort of block myself out from everybody. Um, but I have a big plastic guide dog next to me, and sometimes when I finish on the treadmill, I actually um, look at the dog and I, I shake it around, and people have been donating money whilst I've been running at my local gym. So yeah, that's been very interesting. Yeah, it's such a remarkable story. Now, you alluded to it earlier there, but tell us about the race itself, because on the day you'll have four people locking arms while you're running, is that correct? Yeah, that, well, that was always the initial plan, and I've been so lucky because what actually happened, one of the people had to pull out, um, so now, then I went down to three, so I had to find a fourth person, but look, the people, uh, the, uh, the other three people all stepped up to the mark, and instead of doing the equivalent of sort of 10Ks each, um, now they're all going to do 14Ks each, so I've got three people now, so they've all upped their game as well, and none of them are elite uh, 
runners or anything. They're all people that just want to be part of it. So I've got three very, very decent people that are going to be helping me out now. And Sean, what about the fact that this has never been done before previously? So you're making history. How does that sit with you? Yeah, it's very exciting. And, um, yeah, I, I, I still can't get my brain around that I'm actually doing it. I, it, it sometimes it sinks in and... Uh, I think the nicest thing or the tunnel vision that I have is just when it's all done, I'll be able to look back and reflect and go, I did that. And, uh, yeah, no one can take that away from you. When we hit the target, no, we will get a dog, and no one can take that away either. So no, for running for five hours in the darkness, but to get a dog to give to somebody um, that can change their life in, in the big scheme of things is nothing, really. We're speaking with Sean Miller, who will run the 2014 at Perth City to Surf Blindfolded. Now, Sean, what about donations as well? The blindfolderrunner.com is the website where people can go to make donations. Yeah, look, if they go there, there is a beautiful little video that I made that sort of just tells a little bit more of the backstory to why I actually am doing it uh, and my inspiration. And, yeah, we set that uh, website up and made that video. And... People have been extremely generous in, in donating and sharing the video, but we've also been really lucky. We know that 30000 is a mammoth amount, um, and my partner and I have also organised a fundraiser to try and push us over that sort of that line, um, because after the fundraiser, which is in a couple of weeks' time, we do believe uh, with uh, what we will raise on the night, we will go halfway towards our target, um, because we've been donating some fantastic prizes um, so I, I've, I've been um, overwhelmed there as well. Yeah, it's an amazing effort. I was on the website a bit earlier today, and just the messages of support on the website, it seems to go forever, so people are really getting behind it. Yeah, I, and they are my inspiration, because sometimes when I don't feel like a runner, now the weather's changed and I go running in the evening, it's it's hard to leave a nice warm house and go running in the rain, And but sometimes I actually flick through all the uh, messages that I've received and they really do keep me going. I, I look at those and uh, I know I'm just not doing it for myself anymore. I, no, I am doing it with all this support, which is fantastic. It's a good point. I suppose that you've got the people really pushing you towards it as well. Yeah. I, and sometimes people have started knowing me as the blindfolded runner, but a few people have seen us and that running, because we look a bit unusual, because I'm running with the blindfold on with my partner and we're um, connected together with a, almost the equivalent of a bungee cord around our wrists. And... Some people beard their hooter or some people get to know us and we've got written on our tops that we're training uh, for the marathon. And as we run past, some people say, oh, good luck or shout something out. So, yeah, it's lovely to be doing something here that's going to be uh, I know, getting us towards this target of the dog. And the dog will be, you know, the end result, the dog will be here in WA for somebody. And I imagine your partner has been the wonderful support for you right since starting this? Uh, to be honest, I'm, um, I can run um, and... That's probably one of the things that I'm reasonably good at. They are very good with the other side. The, um, things like this, sort of the media, the, the radio, the, um, you know, the website. I, I owe it all to them because they've, they've actually done all of those things. And they've built up the awareness. Uh, and if you don't take advantage of the media at the moment, uh, no, people may hear about you. But, um, yeah, I owe that part totally to them. Yeah, definitely. Sean, just going on your background again, you were born in the UK and you've been here for approximately 10 years, is that yeah. correct? Yeah, no, yeah, I was born in the UK and I've been here living in Burswood uh, for 10 years now. And Bur Burswood, but Perth in particular, has been pretty good to me. I came over and set a very small business up 10 years ago, but, but I felt like it was time that I gave something back to Perth. And I am English, and I'm, but I'm definitely not a whinge in pom. I, I love it here. <laughs> and I wanted to give something back to the Perth for being so decent and uh, uh, and this is the only way I could try and get everything to work. I like running, my brother's blind, the marathon was coming up and um, Guide Dogs WA where I live in Burswood is just the street behind uh, and I see them training the dogs all the time so it all felt like it all fell into place and I had to run. Uh, I had to, so it feels like a bit of a destiny really but uh, I will do it, yeah. And Guide Dogs Guide Dogs WA, sorry, and also Oven Sparkle, Australia's number one oven cleaning company. No doubt they've given a lot of support to you. Yeah, oh, look, that, that is my company, yeah. We, we set that up ourselves 10 years ago, but we, you know, every time we uh, go and, and, and do a job, we um, you know, make a point of making people aware of what we're doing. And some of our customers, um, and we've built up over 7,000 customers over the years, some of them own businesses and they've donated prizes. Um, and unusually, we've actually got a few... Um, slightly higher profile customers um, and they've actually, you know, a few sportsmen as well that have actually made donations direct and have heard about us and uh, that's been great as well. I've got a couple of unique things that have been given to me. Um, you know, you never know, some of your, your, your listeners may actually be interested in, in them.
Yeah, we definitely encourage all of our listeners to get behind the great initiative. Now, Sean, we're a few months out from the run still. How's the training been and how much will it step up leading into the run? Yeah, well, I, I definitely need to step it up now. Um, the training's been quite hard this time around because I actually had an injury about four weeks ago and uh, I'm used to running anywhere around sort of 40 to sort of 60 and sometimes 70 kilometres a week and um, just as normal training. But And I do that, I run nearly every day or every second day, but I've actually, believe it or not, not been running for the last three weeks because I did injure my foot and I've been having acupuncture and... Uh, uh, and things like that, and some physio, and uh, but look, I'm, I'm just at the end of that, and uh, if anything, yeah, I've also put a bit of weight on, so it's given me, <laughs> made me more determined to get out there and train even harder. Okay, so you're still confident you'll be ready to go in time? Oh, uh, look, if I have to go around there with a wooden leg, I, I will do it. I'll, I'll definitely complete it if I've got to do it on a roller skate or something. Um, so I, I will just have the tunnel vision because, uh, yeah, I've got to, whatever happens, I have to get to this 30,000. It's a uh, a goal and ambition, and uh, I'll, I'll get there somehow, even if it's on a stretcher. Um, I'll get round. Oh, great to hear the commitment. Well, Sean, you can put me down for a $100 donation towards the event. I think it's a wonderful oh, that would be course magnificent. that you're raising for, so I'd love to get behind it myself. And I also encourage all of the listeners out there to get behind the fantastic initiative. So theblindfoldrunner.com, that's where they can go to make the donation, Sean? Yeah, that, if, they go, if they actually just yeah, Google the, uh, the blindfolded runner, yep. dot com. that would take them to our link where uh, that's our Everyday Heroes page and the video. They can, and all we ask, even if they're not in a position to donate, if they could share the video, um, because if it touches somebody's heart somewhere and we get one dollar off somebody, it's a, a dollar that we wouldn't have got if they hadn't passed that on. Yeah, definitely a wonderful initiative. Sean, thank you so much for taking the time out to speak to us here on the radio. It's a wonderful event that you're doing. Uh, all the best to your brother as well. Uh, that's very important as well, and we certainly hope that the people in WA get behind the initiative. And all the best for the run. Hopefully we can speak to you again soon. Oh, Dan, I would love that, and thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Appreciate it, Sean. Go well. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. Sean Miller there, the blindfolded runner. He will make history by being the first person to run the 2014 Perth City Surf Marathon blindfolded. So 42 kilometres, what a fantastic effort. The event takes place on the 31st of August and Sean is undertaking the Mammoth Challenge to raise $30,000 to sponsor a guide dog from Guide Dogs WA. So a wonderful story there and tracking quite well at the moment, just shy of $10,000, still needing just over $20,000 to get to that magical $30,000 target. So we certainly encourage all of our listeners out there, if you'd like to make a donation and get behind this wonderful cause, theblindfolderrunner.com is the website. Otherwise, as Sean mentioned, you can Google The Blindfolder Runner and have a link to the video. It's a great watch as well, so we certainly... Uh, encourage all of our listeners out there to head to the website and find out more about this wonderful cause. Right now we need to take a break at 15 minutes to 10 o'clock here on Sportsbeat. We're back with more in a couple of moments.